So today we are doing the infamous, oh that's just not going to come out anymore, broken BMW cup holder because just Beamer things. This was on Amazon for I think like 20, 25 bucks or you can get the whole uh, both sides and the little trim piece for uh, I think it's like 75 bucks but I just decided to do the one that's broken. Um, it does open quick. I know the OEM one has the slow open. Well, I won't do it, but um, it's not that big of a deal, honestly, for 25 bucks instead of 150 at the dealer. So this is a very simple to do. Um, all you really need is a pry tool, or if you don't care about the dash trim, uh, I'll probably get the carbon sticker just to go on the trim because I'm a racer. But either way, let's see if I can record this one-handed. I do it very careful because these are known to break and if this breaks I will probably be buying one but I uh, just go slow over here and slowly just go across there's a big one on the middle here and there's another big tab on the middle here so uh, let me see this is always hard to do Right, let me just pop that real quick. I'll try to use a smaller one and see if that helps at all. Yeah, there we go. So just try to get behind there. There we go. So using a plastic one is recommended. Normally I would use a flathead screwdriver, but like I said, these are, I mean, this car is a 2010, so um, just kind of go up top as light as possible. As I keep scratching this, but as long as none of the clips break, that is okay. He was over there wandering like a weirdo. But, so as you can see, this is a bigger one on the inside. So, right there, you can see that big. Right there. That'll focus. So, that big push tab. So, you're just doing that pretty much across the whole thing like I said I'm gonna be getting the cover on this anyway so it's not that big of a deal for scratching it for me as long as it doesn't break another big blue one right there as you can see and then let's get to this point go on the other side and as you can see it all comes off so super easy so it does have that big tab there big tab there and then those two middle ones so pretty straightforward and it's just two phillips um uh, these are known to break as they like i said are decade old classic so i would not recommend using a uh drill to get these out just old-fashioned way with a screwdriver uh, I've had this car for almost two years now, and I've put off this cup holder uh, <laughs> replacing it just because I thought I had to take the old dash apart, and then I saw a TikTok video, so. Uh, let me just do this real quick. Alrighty, so those screws are off. Um, normally, yeah, so just kind of wiggle it side to side and pull it straight out. Simple enough. So kind of a side by side comparison. Obviously it's exactly the same. But as far as like the texture and everything. It is pretty much identical. A little bit duller on this. But not enough for me to care. Um, for 25 bucks instead of 150. I can live with that. And as long as all this lines up, uh, did I speak too soon? I think I just have to slide this over, maybe. Or maybe it's wiring back there. Let's see. Everything looks the same. Uh, what is going wrong? Oh, it has to be straight up and down, or else it will not go in. One side's in. 
do not want to force this part. I may need to do this one handed. Probably will have to. Alright, one second. Alright, so there is one slight discrepancy, which is why it's not fitting. Uh, as you can see on the top portion, there we go, that is better. So, you're fine with <laughs> uh, So that top portion, even though those are symmetrical, uh, I'm trying to line it up. So that's the top of that, that's the top of that. So as you can see, it's a little bit taller on that, uh, where that triangle portion is right there. That one is longer on the newer one, which is why it does not want to fit. As you can see, this side lines up just fine, but this side to go in that little corner there does not line up perfectly. So, I'm glad you worked, yes. I can either just bolt it down and hope it works, or I can, um, well, it's going to work, but I can just shave that little bit off and i shall think about what i'm gonna do and the next video will show well not the next video all right so i just bolted it down instead um it just kind of slides in there it does push this part up a little bit up top but i'm not really worried about it too much so uh, besides that everything did not break so i'm gonna put these middle parts in first on the little blue portions so just kind of slide that in on there and you'll see those stick and then once it's in towards the middle you can then do the sides that clips on push that in all the way that clips in as you can see i had to use a screwdriver or a penny or anything that i had to make it work so that looks literally stock so the only complaint which could just be because i didn't shave that part is it's not perfectly flush actually that one's not perfectly flush either but no one's ever gonna care or notice so that comes out a lot quicker than that which isn't a big deal but at least that works so super simple watch i break it I'm messing with it so this whole time year and a half i could have already uh fixed that so the problem on this is usually the spring so as you can see back here that's usually what brings it forward. So there we go. And that just doesn't push it back out. So, um, can you use this for parts? Maybe. Am I going to? Maybe. Probably not, honestly, though. Maybe I could take this apart and just put the slow moving spring, but for $25, that's fine. And it doesn't come out as quick as i thought that's what she said but yeah so hopefully this helps someone like share comment subscribe and we'll see you on the next one